So hey guys, today is day four and we made it out to the beach. Even though um, we're gonna be out here this evening for the um, vow renewal ceremony, we decided to just go ahead and come down, take a look at the scenery. It's so beautiful out here. It's so quiet and peaceful. All the boats and the, the cantinas, as they call them, on this side down here. We haven't done much today. We went down and had breakfast as normal. I had the same thing I had yesterday. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And um, me and my sister did the um, biking aerobics this morning. Not aerobics. I guess it's biking. Pool biking is what they call it. So we did that. I have some footage for you guys for that. So as of right now, we're just gonna walk around on the beach, put our toes in the sand and in the ocean water. And I'll check with you guys later. Hey guys, I'm back. We are back at the room. My sister just had their vow renewal ceremony. Sorry, I wasn't able to bring you guys along because I left my camera in the room. I was taking some pictures of her before the ceremony and I laid it down um, in her room. And when I got to the ceremony, I didn't have it. But it was my like my lens kept fogging up because it was on the beach. And I guess because of the humidity, um, you couldn't really see that well. So. You probably wouldn't have done me any good to bring it anyhow, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I wore. Look, I don't have no clothes on, but I do. Um, I did my makeup. I re um did my bun. I just braided it and twisted it around. And I also did my sister's makeup. I insert some pictures and let me show you guys what I wore. So I just wore this um fuchsia pink dress. And I have on my Steve Madden travel sandals. I told you these shoes go with everything. Pay no attention to my gut. I have been eating so good since I've been here. But um, this is what I'm wearing. And then we're getting ready to go to dinner. I'm not gonna change. I'm just gonna wear this to dinner because um, I don't have time. I'm hungry. I skipped lunch because we were at the beach having such a wonderful time. So this is what I have on. My husband is changing his clothes because um, some of the restaurants here, they have strict dress codes and the restaurant that we're going to for dinner tonight, you have to, the men have to wear pants and the outfit that he had on, um, for the ceremony, he had on shorts. So I'm just waiting for him to change so we can get ready to go eat dinner. Um, we're eating at this Italian restaurant called Bordeaux. Yeah, that's the Italian restaurant. Um, so I will take you guys along and show you what we're having for dinner. And I will talk to you in a little bit. Bye. I just thought I'd show y'all how cute the inside of the restaurant looks while we wait for our drinks and for our food. It just, they just opened, so there's nobody in here right now. There's like one other person, but they're on the other side. Like right outside the windows there's more seating out there but it's hot so we sat on the inside okay so we have the welcome appetizer compliments of the chef and I've also gotten my bread I already ate one piece y'all sorry with my olive oil and my balsamic vinaigrette and they also give you um, cheese to eat with your bread. Um, this is, um, what kind of bread do you say it was? Like an Italian bread with um, sun-dried tomatoes on the top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so my dinner is here. I got the chicken parmesan and it's served over potatoes. I forgot what kind of potatoes they are. And then I'll show you what my husband got. He got the filet, what's it called? Filet something, I can't remember. 
but it's just a, um, a steak and it has um, potatoes on top and it's and a red tomato. So, about to dig in and I will let you guys know how everything was once I'm done with dinner. Okay guys, so we just got dessert. I opted for the tiramisu and my husband got, let me see your bowl. The limoncello sorbet. I think we're gonna share. I don't know what this is on the sides. I think it's chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> it's chocolate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> good morning everyone today is day five um we had um complimentary breakfast in bed today so this is the setup that we have the um we got just left from bringing everything into our room this is all of our breakfast it looks so good. We got a fruit tray. Oh, we missing the meal Um, it's fine. I think yeah, we missing one of the um the eggs and the bacon. We probably just have to call him back. And then we have um pancakes. Um, he brought coffee. I might drink some coffee. I feel really groggy because I'll show you guys in a second. Um he brought champagne and orange juice for us to make mimosas. And then there's pastries, there's butter back there, um, different jellies and syrup and toast. Um, these little Mexican bugs have just been loving me. I don't know what kind of bug bit my leg. As you can see, let me see. It's pretty swollen, but it itches. So last night, luckily I packed some Benadryl. So I took some Benadryl last night and I'm still feeling the effects of it this morning. So I still feel a little tired, but I might feel better once I eat something. So um, we have, we have massages today, right? We have our massages planned um, for today in the spa at um, one o'clock. So right now we're just about to go ahead and eat our breakfast while it's hot. And I will chat with you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, I'm back. We're getting ready to go um, have our massages. We finished our breakfast and just kind of lounged around for a little bit. I'm still a little groggy from my Benadryl, but it did help with the itching from my bite. I had a couple other ones. I don't know if you can see them. Right here on the back of my arm. Hold on, let me get my husband to show them to you. Can you uh, hold this so they can see my arm? Okay. The bites on my arm. I take a picture? No, it's recording. Oh. I got bit right here on my arm, my back, and then the back of my leg. There, and then I showed you this one this morning. This one is the worst. It's, it's got like a knot in it, so I don't know what that is. But I may have a trip to the doctor once we get back if it hasn't gone down. But I just want to quickly show you what I threw on real quick before we get ready to go. I just have on this sundress. Um, I don't remember where I bought this dress from. I bought it a long time ago. But, um, and I just threw on some flip flops. So we're just gonna head down to the spa and have our massages. Okay, we're almost to the spa. I almost got attacked by an iguana. And my husband thought that was funny. Um, yeah, this way. I swear we get lost every time we walk through the door. But they have people out here that you can ask um, for which way you're supposed to go. I'm just keeping my eyes out on these iguanas cause y'all, they ain't playing. I have no idea <laughs> where we are. I don't think we're supposed to go this way.
We're gonna be late for our appointment. Hopefully not. Just trying to find the spa. Don't know where it is. Just walking in circles. Hello. Are we going the right way to the spa? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Okay. Into the left. Okay. Into the left again. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy your spa. Thank you. Oh, it's so pretty. This is nice. I'm excited. Okay, hi guys, I'm back again. It is dinner time. I just wanted to, of course, show you guys what I'm wearing tonight. We're having dinner at the Mexican restaurant here called El Patio. So, um, yeah, my hair is still up in this braided bun because this is so convenient. I just tie it up at night. And I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. This outfit is from Shein. It's a two-piece outfit, it's a skirt in the top. And I have on my new favorite, I'm loving these sandals, y'all. My um, Steve Madden travel sandals. These really have gone with almost everything that I brought in my suitcase. So I really recommend getting these if you plan on like going on vacation or just traveling anywhere where you don't wanna bring a whole bunch of pair of shoes. And they're really, really comfortable. I'm a person that can't wear, um, flat shoes for a long time because I have a high arch in my foot. So flat shoes make my feet hurt, but these have like cushion on the bottom and they're real comfortable. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing tonight. And again, this is from Shein, it's so comfortable. And I'll see you guys when I get to the restaurant. All right, this is one of my appetizers. This is a Caesar salad inside of a I'm trying to get this to focus so you can see the tortilla. This is not a taco, this is a cheese tortilla. There we go. Vincent, what did you get? Flautas. Flautas. And Mrs. Took over there has the same. And so does uh, Mr. Kimball. Okay. Amen. And I got my mango margarita. Vincent has a variety of drinks over here. Oh. A mezcal margarita and a spicy margarita with jalapeno peppers. And uh, these two got Coke. Yep. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying the um, the tortilla soup that they have here. It looks. I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, Bernard has the, what's it called? The tempaquinha. It's a flank steak with guacamole, rice, deep fried beans, and enchiladas. I have the flesh on. And then I have the chicken mole and um, refried beans on the side. Vincent has the same as Bernard. My camera does not want to focus today. And then my sister got the same thing, but she got her sauce on the side. So I'm about to dig in. I'll let you know later how it went. Mm. All right, guys, we're done with dinner. Dinner was excellent. How was your dinner? It was great. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I enjoyed it. It's a nice atmosphere out here. We went to the Coco Cafe. I got some ice cream. We had a um, cheesecake, too, but we already ate it. I think the Coco Cafe stays open all night, so if you change your mind and want to get a dessert at night, they stay open. So my sister and my brother-in-law will be taking some pictures. We're going to go try to catch the fire show that they have going on tonight. I don't know if it's still going on. I think it, we may have missed it because I think it started at, what time the fire show started? 8.30. 8.30. What time is it now? 
to the club. Yeah. For real? Yeah. We missed the fire show? Yeah, they were. Oh, can you grab this? Uh, they're taking their pictures over here. Under the lighted tree. I might try to get me a good one. Nightlife, we can see for the night because I think we done missed the uh, oh my gosh, look at that! Is that a lizard or a gecko or whatever it is? As long as he stay on that sign, Woo. just don't come out here where I'm at. I think we done missed the light show or the fire show or whatever it's called. <laughs> this where the main pool is over here? Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the front end of it. So which way is the what they had the little stuff at? Oh. Oh! Vincent! Careful. Did you crack it? Okay, good. That's good. Where do the iguanas go at night? You see them saying walk they own in the daytime? I ain't seen none at night now. Don't be talking them up. Maybe they sleep. You ain't been out at night. You been in the bed. You got that right, uh-uh. Cause the ones I see during the day are enough for me. I ain't trying to see nobody at night time. You see the... All the trees have little lights on them at night. But I did want to tell y'all about our massages. Do you want to tell them about your massage? I can't see you. It's so dark right here. You standing like out of the light. Just stand right here. Stand right here. Okay, so the massage today was wonderful. Like when I tell y'all this lady massaged my soul, it felt so good. Like she didn't even care about these braids i had in my head she massaged my scalp she massaged behind my ears everything it was so nice the oil was so it was just nice and relaxing good morning guys today is our last day here i'm so sad to leave it's so beautiful the people here have been so nice the customer service has been like excellent i haven't had a bad experience yet not an attitude not a problem um, the concierge of our building when we come out of our room they greet you by your name it's just so nice anything you need you don't have to wait five and six hours for them to bring things to your room they come immediately so i have really enjoyed my stay here so by this being our last day um, we're getting ready to head down and go get breakfast and um i have my swimsuit on for today i don't know if y'all can see but this swimsuit is from shein this is giving me pebbles vibes from the Flintstones. I love this one, so it's really um, comfortable. But anyhow, we're getting ready to go down and have um, breakfast at the Market Cafe. And then we're gonna go by the pool for a while, maybe go back to the beach, I'm not sure. Um, we have reservations tonight for dinner at the Hibachi restaurant. So um, we're just gonna try to make the most of our last day here today. And then um, come back and kind of start packing 
because we have to work well it's since the airport is like a little over an hour drive we have to leave by 9 40 in the morning so that we'll get back to the airport and be on time for our flight so we're going to go ahead and like start packing our stuff up um tonight um i'm probably going to have the laundry service go ahead and just wash my um my dirty clothes so that i don't have to pack dirty clothes in my suitcase and um go ahead and put that in so that way that'll be done by this evening um just waiting for my husband to finish in the shower and we're about to go have our last wonderful breakfast buffet and i will check in with you guys in a little bit yeah so this is what i have for today i got some um fruit to go on my waffles some bacon another egg white omelet of course and i got some um honeydew and those are mangoes under them and I got some apple juice and a mimosa and Bernard has uh, French toast, sausage, eggs, bacon and hash browns and he's drinking orange juice so I'm about to dig in while it's hot and I'll see you in a bit. our way back to the quiet pool over here I'm sure you can hear how quiet and peaceful it is over here we got our umbrella position where we're sitting in the shade and I'm just right now I'm um, drinking some water I'll probably get a drink a little bit later but since I just finished breakfast I was kind of full so I just didn't want anything just yet but um, we're sitting in a different spot today than we were um, a couple days ago when we were out here. I'm going to show you guys the view. My hubby's over here. We're just gonna um, sit out here for a little while. I, um, yesterday when we went to get massages, I scheduled a facial for today at 3.30. I just wanted to, um, since they were offering, well they give us um, like coupons where you can get like money off of a spa service. But the um, massage that we did yesterday, I had already, I pre-booked it and it was on a special. So I didn't use a coupon for that. So I have a coupon to use for something else. So. Instead of me just letting it go to waste, I just decided to um, go back today and get a facial. So I have that. Hello guys. We decided to take our last walk on the beach before we head out tomorrow. We came looking for um, seashells for Kingston. Because he asked us to bring them some back. We got a few. Found some pretty big ones. And a bunch of different kind of small ones. So, it's so nice out here, as y'all see behind me, it's like the sun is, I don't know where the sun is, it was kind of overcast today, it looked like it was going to rain, but it didn't rain, it was just cloudy, sorry if I'm looking down, I'm trying to make sure I don't step on none of these rocks out here, but we just want to give you one last view of the beach before we head out tomorrow, so we're about to go back to the room and chill for a little bit and then get ready because we got dinner reservations tonight at nine. Huh? Your phone? Oh. So yeah, we're about to head back to the room and I will chat with you guys before we go to dinner. Okay guys, this is our final 
outing on our trip, I guess you could say, because tonight is our last night here. We're getting ready to head out to dinner at the um, Japanese restaurant they have here on the resort. So I just wanted to take a second to show you what I'm wearing to dinner. I have my hair tied down because it got wet earlier and so my um, hair was a little bit frizzy, but I'm gonna take this scarf off right before we get ready to go out the door. So this is what I'm wearing for today. This outfit is also from Shein. I got a little happy on that website doing my vacation shopping. And um, I have on my Steve Man travel samples once again because I have started packing and putting some of my other things um, in a suitcase already. So I was trying to just keep out a pair of shoes and my outfit for today. And I have what I'm wearing to the airport tomorrow. And so this is it so i will check in with you guys once i meet up with my sister and my brother-in-law at the restaurant and i'll see you in a little bit okay we made it in here is the restaurant looks like it's like a typical hibachi restaurant So yeah, they, they ain't living up there last night here. Hey. You've been drinking coke the whole time. Oh Lord. All right, here's my final results. Got my rice over here. And I got me another Red Baron Maya to drink because I finished the other one already. So everybody's about to dig in. How's it taste? Good. I don't know. All right, guys. For the finale, we have a fried ice cream with the chocolate sauce on top. So everybody has the same thing. Oops, sorry, my camera's not focusing. It's not focusing. Okay, there it goes. All right, so everybody has the same thing. And we're gonna try this and see how that goes. And we will let you know. Good morning, everyone. Today is our final morning here. We're getting ready to leave. We have the room packed up. We're just about to head downstairs to eat our, um, we actually ended up having time to still eat breakfast before we have to go um, check out and um, load the shuttle back to the airport. So um, I'm just gonna give you one last glimpse of our beautiful room. I'm going to miss it all. I had a great time. I'm gonna miss all of these amenities. Got our suitcases ready. Bed is not made, of course, but. All right, so. One last view out here on the balcony. Oh, it looks like it might rain today. Oh, it's so hot out here. I see that big rain cloud out there. So, yep. I'm really going to miss waking up to this. So yeah guys, I'm about to head um, downstairs so we can call for our luggage to be picked up and we can go home. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit and um, I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit while we're at the airport. I wasn't able to do it on the way down here because it was really hard trying to um, wheel your suitcases you have on this mask. I had a carry on, I had my purse so I was really trying hard to do it but it just didn't work out that way so i'll see if i can um show you guys like the airport and stuff today so all right i'm getting ready to go have breakfast i'll talk to y'all in a little bit okay so we're on the side where all the perfumes are i'm gonna see what type of um, perfumes they have. 
I'm trying to find the one that my mother-in-law likes, but I don't see it. Let's see if I can find it. Excuse me. Here's all the um, Dior. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what that other perfume was that your mom wanted that we couldn't find around Mother's Day? You have the text I sent you still in your phone, baby? Huh? Um, hi. I'm just looking because I can't remember. I think I know it when I see it, but I don't know the name of it. Um, Buy two, get one free in the same bar. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see if I can find the um 